I think we should decriminalize marijuana, period. You feel like uh, marijuana should be legalized in the United States? Yeah, I think um, I think it's, a, it's a, a terrible crime to put people in jail for pot. As president, I'll work to reform the criminal justice system, decriminalize marijuana. Justice begins when the war on drugs ends. Yeah, so despite what you hear Rand Paul and President Joe Biden say in those clips, none of that actually ended up happening. And it is unlikely to happen for a long, long time. Why do we know this? Well, because cannabis reform is dead in Congress and has no hope of resurrection anytime soon. Yeah, of course, look, politicians are liars. And you would all know that with absolute certainty if mainstream media didn't cover for them. Uh, so we told you Biden said he was going to talk, look into um, basically taking marijuana, not only descheduling it or rescheduling it, but perhaps making it legal period. And I was like, Joe Biden, the war on drugs warrior. No, he's just doing it for the votes and the PR. He's not gonna actually do it. And Rand Paul's gonna get the Republicans to do it. No, of course not. There was one part of a bill that could pass, and that was the part that would help banks. And that's where some of the Republicans we're like, whoa, wait a minute, turning the, the cash that you get at marijuana and being able to put it into a bank so the bank can make money off of it. That sounds interesting. So I thought maybe that one could pass, but even that didn't pass. No, they're not gonna do anything because they're all corrupt, they're all ancient. Like their average age in the Senate is like 98 or 212, okay? So they're like, oh, it sounds scary to drugs. Yes, so let's give you the details on what's going on, Jenk. So uh, a few months ago, we gave Biden some credit because he at least did something about people who are serving time in prison on marijuana possession charges federally, right? Mm -hmm. So he did something about that and uh, we gave him credit for that. Now, Congress uh, will not be including any cannabis provisions in its year end spending package, dooming any chance of reforming marijuana laws for the foreseeable future. The House had passed a bill legalizing marijuana nationwide earlier this year, but it stalled in the Senate due to opposition from Republicans and yes, some Democrats as well. But now, here's the update. Not only will Congress fail to legalize marijuana this year, lawmakers couldn't even agree to include a modest anti-crime cannabis reform as part of its $1.7 trillion government funding bill set to pass this week. So instead of trying to pursue a standalone bill on this, they, they tried to attach it to the funding bill. That didn't come to fruition. And it's a problem because what the, the proposal would do is it would allow for states that have legalized marijuana for their dispensaries to be able to engage in banking through their business. And that's really important to do and it does reduce crime because if they're not able to do business through regular channels, through regular banks, they end up doing business through cash. And the reason why the banks don't wanna do business with them is because on a federal level, marijuana is still deemed illegal. It's still deemed a schedule one drug. Banks don't wanna mess with that. They don't want to get in trouble sometime down the, you know, down the line uh, if they do business with these dispensaries. And so these dispensaries end up doing business in cash. And what do you think that attracts? Criminals who are looking to come up <laughs> on some cash, 100%. right? So it's just disastrous in so many different ways. But this is how politics works. You've got Republicans blocking it. They just took control of the House. So since this provision isn't gonna be attached to the spending bill, and since there's no standalone legislation, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, so the House passed it when it was controlled by the Democrats. Exactly. But it was always a trick, guys. So Pelosi and Biden do it for PR reasons, but they know the Senate's gonna kill it. How do they know the Senate's gonna kill it? Not only because of the filibuster and all that stuff, but because they already know that the, a lot of Democratic senators also don't wanna do it. So the whole thing is just a play meant to deceive you. And the media goes along with it. They put out articles about, oh, the House passed this historic marijuana legalization bill. So is it legal? No, the Senate will later block it, but we're giving them PR credit here, even though it's an obvious trick. So liars, all of them, all of them. Bunch of Democrats voted against this in the Senate, of course. I'll tell you this though, I'll make a prediction ahead of time. The part that involves the money, that eventually will pass and it doesn't matter if Republicans or Democrats in charge because the banks want it. 
So there's two problems with the cash. One is it creates crime, as Anna explained. The other is why? Why don't you allow them to do be like anybody else and put their money in a bank instead of saying, "Here, come rob me," right? Because I can't. Everybody knows I can't put it in a bank. But the banks want the money too. So once the banks want the money, that part and only that part will pass. But it will remain illegal so that everybody else could keep making money from the different corrupt industries that are set up to make money by blocking marijuana exactly. legalization. There are far more entities making money off the federal prohibition of marijuana than there are like banks that would make money off of legalizing it on a federal level. No. And that's really what's taking place here. And and the politicians lie to you, right? So the Republican senators who are against this proposal, including Mitch McConnell, Chuck Grassley, and John Cornyn, say, you know, no, this is actually really dangerous. It's actually a much better idea to have medical marijuana dispensaries or marijuana dispensaries that sell legally recreational pot do business in cash where they attract criminals. That's far better. That's the argument that they're making. Here's Senator John Cornyn's tweet on this. He says, it is responsible, irresponsible. It is irresponsible to do this without a federal regulatory framework to address public health and law enforcement issues. What? Senators take an oath to uphold the law, not ignore it. What now, does that even mean? Oh, so now all of a sudden Republicans want more regulations? They want a federal regulatory framework? No, that's just a way of saying, no, drugs bad. Me get paid by people who are against marijuana and make money from other industries. Get the out of here, man. So and by the way, if you're watching mainstream media, you might be going, but what could the poor Democrats and Joe Biden do? Every MSNBC host told me that they're impotent and can't do anything and that's why I should celebrate them. How about Biden says, hey, listen, I made a campaign promise. Now these son of a bitch Democratic senators are standing in my way. So you should all know the next time a family member gets arrested for no goddamn reason, it was their fault. But he would never have the courage to do that, nor the inclination, because he doesn't actually want any change at all.